Okay. Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Today I'm doing a video changing one of these wicks. Uh, someone's asked me to do this, so I thought I'd do it. I didn't need, the, need to do it, but I thought before the winter turns up, we'll uh, show you. So obviously I've taken the top off. The top is down here. If you want to see. Yeah, that comes off. And it comes off with these little little bolts. Yeah, I just made them, but the, the, I think originally it had these on wing nuts. Doesn't really matter. Anyhow, uh, tools you're going to need is maybe one of these little rag, some gloves, somewhere to put the the wick. Now there's still a little bit of uh, paraffin in here, so I might have to be a bit careful. Uh, I'm not actually going to take it out, I'm just going to show you how to, I don't know, I might, because I don't think I've actually got somewhere to put it, to be honest. I might have to go and find a tub. Uh, I just thought I'd do this better than mum. Anyhow, I've taken the four screws out, you can see, that's with it up, it's like all tarred, it's like crustaceans, it's like carbon. What I, what I was doing is I was just getting pliers and crunching it and then uh, cleaning it. Mm, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, in this case, I'm going to change it. But what you should really do is every now and again uh, run it without anything in and just just burn the. If it's a carbon, fi uh, sorry, a fiberglass wick, like these, there's a couple there. I've got a few, so there's four in there. And that's the size I'm going to be using. Make sure you buy the right size. Uh, this one's a fiberglass, not cotton. You can get cotton ones, fiberglass. So you can you can set fire to it without any fuel in, and it should burn and, and it should clean itself up. But in this case, I want to change it, and I want to because what's happened is I've cut it, I've tried to trim it, uh, and that didn't really work out very good because I was just doing it like with scissors and stuff. Uh, you'd have to really take it off and trim it properly. Uh, you can see you can actually trim it down a little bit. I mean technically you get, as long as you don't run out of wick technically you can trim it down to whatever but you, you might get a smaller flame. Anyhow we've took the four bolts out this comes off you can see uh, a couple of scratches around here where I've been cleaning it inside so what I use is something like this with a wire uh, wire wheel in and I can just buzz around there. I'll just quickly show you. I'll just do a small portion. Yeah. I can do around the edge. Get in there like this and then change the change this out to a, like a wheel. Well, I can do it like sideways. So that's that. Clean it up with a maybe a brush. You can get in there and give it a once over. But generally, it's quite tough stuff, so you want to like get some sort of grinder to get it off. Don't cut it into the metal. Don't make too much of a mess. So hopefully, you can see that's the the wick. Let me just drop it a little bit. Should have to see that. So it comes up and down here. I lift it up. If I take this off, just pop it off. Just pops off like that. In fact, mine came with a spare. And you need to loosen this. I've just got a finger tight, as you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that clean mark for later. So you just screw this off. Before then, we've got a rubber seal hopefully. You can give that rubber seal a bit of a clean and clean around here. Just might as well. Might as well clean it. 
and then keep it in good nick with split uh, replace it as that and then just clean round the best you can spend as much time as you want a little bit of carbon on there yeah that's good so what we're going to do now is take this out we'll bring it take the nut off Set the side and then this part see it just comes out you see it drop there a little bit now it's free yeah or if you want gloves on because that's full of uh, paraffin or, or uh, whatever you're using to burn so this just comes out and as you can see there's this rubber seal and a cog let me just close me back door because it's raining I don't want the rain to come in, give me two seconds. That's better. So yeah, there's a seal there. It's a bit quiet as well. And there's a little sail clip so you can actually take this off. And it'll be on a spline. Don't damage this. And that makes it go up and down. You can see it doesn't really matter where you put it in because it's going to find it anyway. Uh, so basically now just lift it out. That's it. Uh, it might be a bit see how it's soaking wet, so I don't want to take it out fully. I'm going to leave it in to find a a, a a tub, which I've got somewhere just in there. So anyway, this has got little spikes stick it on the inside you can see as it ratchets up yeah makes it go up and down from there so what you need to do is push it in can you see there's little little spikes holding it in so you've got to get the right height and you can see there's a line there on this one uh, and that'll, that'll be the line there, possibly. I'm not sure, but that looks like it's the line. It's worn off a bit, that's all. So we're just going to take it in, like this, fold it in, take that out. Little spikes. That's what grips. You don't need to do anything else with this. Uh, you want to keep it the right orientation. So obviously that'll be the wrong way around, so you're going to keep it the same way. And then there's the wick, which has got uh, stuff on it, soak and wet. And there's the line there, which is slightly different, it's worn off a little bit. Bit of carbon everywhere, you want some gloves on. Just put these brand new gloves on. So what we'll do is... Uh, don't think it's leaking too much, there's quite a bit of uh, stuff in there. What I'll do is, uh, let's give me a second to go and find a tub. don't think I've got one, but let's have a look. There you go. Any tub will do. And then I can come back to this later and see what, have a look at it maybe. Maybe clean that. I probably doubt it, but so you've got this there. What I would do now is because I can see the the liquid in the bottom here. I don't want to waste that. It's probably about a litre still in. It would make sense to actually do this when it's empty. What I'm going to do is just clean this off. There's a little bit of carbon build up, but not too much. So just for that, I'm just going to take this, give it a little bit of a clean. Does not be perfect. Maybe a bit of sandpaper if you wanted to. 
you can see on the top where I've used uh, this just to clean the top. Okay, not to make any sparks. Right, so that's ready to go in now. This is the first time I've done this by the way. I've never done it before, so I thought I'd do it on camera. So this is the one that came with it, and that's uh ones I bought. They're slightly different, but not by much. Same size. Put that back on before we forget. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So we need to uh, put this onto here first and then drop it in. Not sure whether it goes on the top or the bottom to be honest, I think it goes from the bottom. Makes sense. Right. So oh no, turn the top. Right there. Uh, doesn't matter where the bolts it goes as long as you've got the right height. I'm trying to get that line right. Maybe best with the gloves off I think at this point, but there you go. So just get it right and then just work your way around before you punch the sides with the spikes. So I've just yeah, I've just punched that one there, so I'm squeezing it about there. Take your time because it's really important that it wicks the right height. See the line there. It's worth, like you say, it's worth taking your time here at this point. Because if you don't, your wick's going to be at different heights and you're going to have a different size flame, which is not good because you'll turn it down to suit the high bit and then the low bit will be too low. So it's really worth, I think that's it really. You can see it's, it's in there. All we need to do now is flare that to go over there. Like that, and then turn it as it's going, and just so just and that's the front. So we want this to be at the front. Uh, as we turn this, it's going to bring it up. So you want it like that, so it turns up. So that's the lowest point. Bring it down, put this back in. I can see it, I can see it through there. Oh, I don't think you can see it, but I can't get the camera. Nah, no, I can't. But I can see through there and see the cog and see the little cut and see this this bit. And I want it, I want it to go in there, not here. Right at the end. I can see it a bit further down. I'm just pushing down slowly while I'm trying to find it. A bit further. Nearly there. That feels too low, you know. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Let's have another look. Correct. I wonder whether that. I wonder whether that line's got to be. I would have thought the lines at the top isn't 
because otherwise you can, yeah that's right and that yeah that's right it doesn't seem correct it seems like it's too low to pick up that so it's a bit of a fiddly yarn but nearly there a bit more that's it that in It. So put the screw back on and just test it a few times. It doesn't only really need to be finger tight the screw. Just to stop it from moving, that's all. Pop that back on. There you go. Up. Down. Now, when I go up, it goes right at the end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, keep that tucked in. Now, uh, I'll put it together, but that's really it. I'm going to clean this up first, but I'll just show you. You just got to get it on and just. That's it. Nice clean work. But I'm going to clean this because it makes sense for me to clean this first. So I'm going to call the video there because I need to. I don't want to light it up yet. It's going to be for the winter, but it'll work. It's soaking up now. It takes 20 minutes to soak up anyway, so I can. Uh, but that's working. Up, down, yeah. So remember, every two to three bends, uh, what what I would do, what, this is what I've learned and what I'm going to do is only put enough fuel in for that night. So if you get a, a container, what I was using, if I haven't got one here, I say I've, it was a second. Okay. So I was using like a like a little bottle, plastic bottle. So just say that's a litre and you're going to burn a litre. Burn the litre and let it burn out. You could do that. Uh, with a fiberglass one it shouldn't cause any damage. Or m make a mark and just say well each time I finish at the night time I'm left with a little bit more so just put a mark here so you're not putting that in. Uh, Rather than, uh, but every two to three times, let it uh, burn without the fuel till it runs out and keep this clean or as clean as you possibly can. And it won't end up, end up like the other one. Like that. That got me through all through the winter. Uh, but you can see the, the carbon build up on it. Now I can clean that. I'll burn it off and I'll, I'll trim it because you can see it's slightly. It's not square. I'll trim it again. I'll use it as an emergency one. Uh, but for that, they're pretty cheap. I think I picked a pack of four of these up for £12. So even if you use one a year, can't argue with that. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you like this, any comments leave below. Give us a sub because I'm struggling. Uh, any comments I'll ask. Uh, ask me anything in the comments and I'll try to reply if I can. Uh, this thing is really good. I use this in the winter in conjunction with my diesel heater. Uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, try to, I've been paraffin only in it. Uh, I have got other fl uh, fuels. I just burn high quality paraffin, it's hotter, it seems to burn hotter and it seems to be uh, less order, uh, works for me anyway. Uh, the blackness is when I start to burn other things, try and uh, I can't, but anyway there's, there's other things I burn, I try to mix a little bit of diesel and paraffin to make kerosene, I've tried high quality kerosene, it works, but paraffin is better, but the paraffin is stupid price uh, but it's better uh, anyway guys hope you like this give us a like give us a sub and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching